Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Murders at Karlov Manor draft here on the channel. We're going to dive straight in here. If you enjoy this sort of video, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, all that jazz. We've opened up Pyrotechnic Performer, which honestly performed way better than I thought it would. Uh, I've gotten to play this card before and just does like eight damage sometimes if you have a couple of disguise guys. That being said, it's kind of a medium card, I think. I think I'd rather start with Case of the Gateway Express or A Killer Among Us. Both of these cards are quite good. Case of the Gateway Express puts me into a better color because white is better than green. And this is kind of like, kind of hard to stop, honestly, if you curve out with your white deck. Um, then again, green is generally more open. This card just has a plenty of synergies. I think I'll try a Case of the Gateway Express deck. I often play green decks, and so getting an excuse to play a white deck is pretty pretty all right in my perspective. Okay, now there is Fuss Bother. Don't want to overthink this one. This card is great, especially if I'm starting with a white card. The Bother plays really, really well with Case of the Gateway Express. Somebody did that to me once, and it was devastating because this makes three tokens. So if you've already solved the case then you get to have three, two, one flyers. And if you haven't yet, then it'll help you solve the case. So really nice follow-up to Case of the Gateway Express. Feeling good about that pick. If I'd started with the green card, there's not really a good follow-up. I'd probably be still taking this one. Um, then there's Murder. Dramatic Accusations, not the best. V2 Gazi's fine. Misfield doesn't really do much. Okay, great start here. There's now a push-pull we could take. Uh, it's a great kill spell or, like, late game, like, get two creatures back. We can also just play it in a white deck with the destroy tap creature. But if we are playing white-black or white-red, then we have some extra flexibility. Fuss Bother also plays well in white-red. So, uh, yeah. Whisper Drinker Vampire is also fine. But I'm happy to just take this and lean towards just a white deck or a white red deck. Nervous Gardener is also fine. But I don't have to be able to play the pull half of this card for it to be good. So I'm just going to maintain my flexibility, as they say. Hmm, murder, Whisprinker. So black might be a little bit open, but I don't really mind missing out on these cards. Honestly, I might second pick this, this out of the pack. Okay. Now we're seeing green. Sample Collector, Hedge Whisperer, Locks on Eavesdropper. There's also Glistening, not Glistening, Gleaming Gear Drake as a two drop. So that's like if I wanted to go blue red, which I guess this can technically go into blue red. This doesn't really fit great in blue red. This doesn't really fit great in blue red. So this is kind of like way far away from where I'm at. I could take Call of Surprise Witness. I could take Granite Witness as a card that is guaranteed to be playable with my like white deck that I'm building. I think I'm really trying to play white. I could play white green. This card's fine. I'm just going to take Granite Witness, though, because it's just a guaranteed playable. And I'm seeing a lot of green, but I just want to make sure I get playable. So I'm just going to stay flexible for now. Okay. This card's fine. On the job is also fine. Again, plays great with Fuss Bother. We're seeing a little bit of green, a little bit of black, a little bit of blue. Green, probably the second most open color. But I'm just going to solidify myself into white, and hopefully that gives me a good pack, too, of good white cards. Because I really do want to be able to play this pull, which means means black or red is joining the squad, and I would kind of like it to be red, because <laughs> black isn't the best. I don't think Soul Search is very good. It's a marginal sideboard card. Taking a secret to your grave still doesn't make it safe from the Orzhov. That's a pretty crazy flavor text. There's this guy. I think I'll probably just lean towards the Escape Tunnel, though. Curious Inquiry, Hedge Whisperer. Hmm. I don't know if my white deck really wants this card. Maybe I just take this. Could always just take a Gore Hound. I'll take the tunnel. It's gonna be good even if I'm in a two-color deck. Now there's a Griffnaut Tracker. Again, it's just solid. Just taking solid white cards. This card's fine as well. But if I can leave pack one going like mono-colored, I'm gonna be pretty happy. And not like my cards are crazy, but I have this card, which is great, this card, which is great, and this card, which is great. So I have three really good cards going into pack two. I don't need to take like a random six drop or anything, or random two drop. Just building up my playable count. 
This is kind of a three drop. And yeah, I've got all the important elements of a deck covered here. Check the table for anyone I know. Nope. Okay. This card still just playable in a mono white deck. It's actually pretty scary if I have enough creatures. This card's pretty solid. This card's pretty solid. This card's pretty decent. So we're seeing a little bit of blue, a little bit of other colors, but we're just going to stick to white still. We wield this. We also wield Bite Down on Crime. This card is the best in the pack, I think. Over Bubble Smuggler. And Alley Assailant. Hmm. This is technically a white card, and I do have a uh, case to go look for. But that card's just so bad. Flotsam Jetsam might have to be white blue for this to work. I'd rather just take demand answers almost. I guess I could take sudden setback. Taking random blue cards here. Okay, pack two. Looking for white cards. Not really getting there on the white cards front. Um, <laughs> the best white card. I mean, there's not even a mono white card in my pack. How unlucky is that? Uh, there's not like I need a mono white card. I could take a nervous gardener. Not the most aggressive threat. Could take no more lies because I was seeing some late blue. Could take a shock. I don't really like No More Lies that much. I think green and blue are the most likely pairings. Um, I'm just going to take Shock, though. It's the best card in the pack, I think. Eliminate the Impossible is pretty decent. Perfect. I'm just going to take all my red cards this pack. It kind of screws the person that I was, was passing to, but I think it'll work. This card's just way better than everything else in the pack, I think. There's also Buried in the Garden, which is pretty good. I just wanted to go white-green. I already have a Bite Down on Crime. I already have Crowd Control Warden. I kind of like my strategy here, though. There's another Fuss. Nice. We're just getting a lot of good red cards here. Which I'm okay with. We're not seeing any white cards, but that's okay as well. Look how well we're getting rewarded here. There's a Dog Walker, too. I think I might take Dog Walker. Yeah, Dog Walker over. Shock. My creature count is at three. I think I just need more creatures. <sighs> I wish I could have just taken gotten more shocks and stuff, but this card got a lot better now that I'm in white-red. That was kind of one of the reasons for doing this. Beautiful! Sixth pick Novice Inspector. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna have to build up our creature count, because Case of the Gateway Express is pretty miserable with five creatures, though keep in mind that these can count as three creatures sometimes. Um, we're going to cast that decently often for that mode. This card's pretty good in our deck, I think. On the job is good with the Fuss Bothers. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with where we're at here. I'm glad I went to this red direction. We're going to have to maybe scrape for playables a little bit because we still need 10 more here, but like we're just going to be getting like orangutans and stuff. Pretty happy with how this is going. Keep in mind, we didn't really have any red cards going into pack two, but now we have quite a few. We do want just any creatures, so six creatures now, much better than we were. Sure, I'll just take this card to make it less likely somebody else takes white cards. Only to pass everything else. We have two creatures that we can cast for less than three mana. And Dog Walker, we kind of want to save, so it's kind of a look for cheap creatures situation, but, you know, we'll just take everyone we see the rest of the draft and hope for the best. Mm 
Okay, that's a creature. No more lies wield. Ugh. Sure, we'll just take take cards that are in our colors, even if they're not particularly great. We'll be able to round out this deck in pack three, I think. Sure, we'll take this. We have a couple ways to make clues. Yeah, we have one, two, three ways to make clues. Mm -hmm. These fuss bothers are more like six drops. Oh, okay, this card's pretty good. <laughs> Show and tell's funny. Uh, this card's not playable. We'll just take Torch. It's so much better than the Orangutan, I think. <laughs> Vein Ripper, that's crazy. Uh, we'll take the Bullrack Clan Basher. I don't think we can make the transition to black. There's just no way. It's fine. This card's great. Mm -hmm. Not on my watch. Over the crook. Mm, yeah, it seems fine to me. Hope I make sure I don't die early. Yeah, getting past a Vein Ripper is kind of wild. Like, I was pretty sure black was open, but, like, getting past Vein Ripper is not, like, it's kind of what I would have taken to make my deck stronger, <laughs> strong enough to want that. Okay. We are not seeing a lot of white cards, but that's fair. We'll just get this guy. This is a weird deck. In some ways, quite good. In others, not quite good. Has the Vigilante. Sure, I'll take that. I have a lot of face-down disguisers, I think. Just need more creatures. Ugh. Color count. Now it's fairly even. I didn't have like any red cards going into pack two. This is mostly a six drop in my deck. But it's a good six drop because it fuels a lot of my synergies. Namely this card and this card. And we have three copies of Torch the Witness, which is just great. Also just play this. I'd rather get the evasion. Yeah, I'll just take the big guy. I actually have enough artifacts that I think this is worth it. Nervous Gardener, crazy. Getting that pick nine. Somebody's really happy. Okay. We are cooking. Feeling pretty happy about this dog walker pick. We have a lot of removal. <sighs> so we're definitely just playing white red I'm probably just going to cut one of these bad disguisers. 
even though I'm so low on creatures, but this is creatures, so that's fine. Probably going to cut Shady Informant. Hmm. I'll honestly cut this, I think. Yeah, that's probably fine. Well, interesting deck. <laughs> we'll see how it does. I'll see you folks in the games. Biff! Before I get to the games, I want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support my content over at patreon.com slash Nikolai Bolas. Patrons are those individuals who enjoy my content and decide to give back, support the channel, and help me make more videos in the future. There's a free tier over on the Patreon, so you can learn a bit more about it before deciding if you do want to join. But I do want to give a special shout out to those who do join, especially those at the credits level. It really does make a big difference and helps me make more videos. If you are enjoying my content, Patreon is the best way to support the channel and help me make more content going forward. But without further ado, let's get to the games. Welcome to round one. Oh, I'll keep on the draw. I'm going to mulligan this, actually. I can't consistently cast my spells. This card's great when you mulligan because you empty your hand faster. I'm just going to ditch that. that was, this hand is good. Hello, opponent. Banking clues while you get this up and running is pretty good. If they're trying to compete with me on card advantage, I'm going to win that battle, I think. I will sack this clue because I have the mana up. This doesn't need to get going just yet. Still need to hit my land drops after all. Yep, just digging for lands. Sure. Just gonna deploy my spells. I'm gonna try to exile this with not on my watch. I don't mind making this trade. It's not the best trade though. I could have also just killed this thing. And held them not on my watch, but that would have been suspicious. Sure, this works out even better than I could have hoped. I will, of course, try to do not on my watch the cold case cracker. Hmm. I feel a sneeze coming. Not on my watch, Sneeze. Shoot! <laughs> Never mind. Totally on my watch. Get wrecked. I should have muted the microphone. What am I thinking? I'm so foolish! Ah, oh, what have I done? That worked out well. Mm -hmm. Dig for land. Missed on land, but that's a good find. Okay, cold case cracker, sure. 
I will block here. I don't think I have the time to use this. Not the... Actually, I have shock to kill that. Perfect. Okay, I'm okay with this. Okay. This can kill that. Two creatures from my graveyard. Hmm, could be pretty big. When this flips, it's going to be really good for me. Why are they playing lands with Projector Inspector in play? It makes no sense. Hmm. Sure. That pretty much negates this card, sadly. I definitely need Torch. Push-pull got a heck of a lot worse. But... I think these are still fine. I need to kill this Cold Case Cracker, though. It's gonna be really, really hard for me to... get him here. Oh no. I hope they don't have fuss bother. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's huge. That is a relief. Push this card is being really annoying. It's a bee in my bonnet. Prime Stopper, okay. Yeah, I'm going to take three here. This is such a good line. Sack this, play has the next turn. Because I get the mana. Charge! This is going to be my hope against Flyers. Nice. Bring back this and this. Hit them for a billion. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, because I'll buff this guy or something. Plus a billion, plus a billion.
I hope I'm not dead. I think they have to chump this guy, though. They take 3, 6, 10, 12, 14, 17, and they go to 1. Wow, that was actually so close. Holy heck, that was crazy. Yes! Oh my gosh, what a comeback. We were on the ropes there for a second, but oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> See you next round. Welcome to another round. We're, we're keeping. This is the sort of hand our deck signs up for. Oh, I always hope. Whenever I have this card, I'm filled with such promise. Okay. I'm just going to do this. And then I think I might kill it with my Gearbane just to make a 4-4 four, four Reacher. Because white-green can struggle against this start. I have plenty of value here. Sure. The reason I'm doing this is because next turn I can play this and sack the clue. Or play a face down and play this. Please forget the reach. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're a little bit late for that now. Okay, play this. Ditch the offender at large. Actually, I'll ditch. Yeah, offender's pretty good. I'll ditch this guy. That's not really what I wanted to see, but it's okay. I was hoping to draw a land so I could just case. I guess I technically greeted a little bit. I could have sacked Clue and killed this guy. Sometimes you just have to take the like straightforward greed play, though. Like That's like just the straightforward play for a reason. I'm not like super far behind. If they kill my gear bane, I'm probably going to lose now, though, instead of being able to maybe stabilize. I'm really worried about this thing if they kill my gear bane is the problem. Yeah. I'll just block the one that I really care about. They have plus two, plus two, that's fine. I should have double blocked this. No, because if they have plus three, plus three, this is bad. But they would have done it last turn if they had plus three, plus three. I think they have plus two, plus two. I tend to just trust my instincts on these. Plus two, plus one. Yep. Same difference. About the same, I guess. Land? Yes. Nice. Shock? No, I can't play Shock anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like if I'd been able to hit Case, then I would be able to play Bother this turn, and then I'd be able to play Case next turn. Ugh. This is getting tricky. I played this one first, and I played this one second. And yeah, we're going to just hope that they can't kill both my guys here. Six toughness is a big ask. Like, they might get a 5-5 five five or something. Okay. Sure. Three, five, seven. I can't do everything I want. Hmm. 
Guards are going to be fine because of this. Just need to survive. Shock. Well, this is neither of these particularly useful. I should be able to empty my hand next turn to get the case going. Oh, that's a bummer. Yep. Yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Okay. I think I'm still okay. I can still win this. Never mind. Yeah, this was a very close game, but things just didn't line up for me the way they needed to line up. I missed that one land drop, and it just spiraled from there. Like if, like if you just imagine how this game goes, if I hit that land drop, then what happens is is instead of my mark, instead of like losing, like trading with the market watch, I just kill the market watch. This will be out of my hand, and then my gear bane orangutan will trade for something else. They don't get to have as much pressure on me, and I just kind of cruise. But I missed my key land drop, and it went out of control from there. Maybe I was supposed to just sack a clue so I could guarantee playing this. But I had kind of expensive cards in my hand at the time. I think I had this this thing, and I had this guy that kind of wanted to get some clues going. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I maybe I punted, but I think I beat myself up over plays that like were pretty reasonable at the time. A lot of the t in, in a lot of cases, and I think that was totally fine to just play this thing, look, try to dig for a land. I guess I didn't consider the option of missing a land, but yeah, if I had, um, if I had played the land, if I just sacked the clue to look for land and then just killed their two two. I all of a sudden have a 4-4 four, four again. Yeah, that might have been better, but Retrospect is 2020. It was seemed fine at the time. Welcome to another round. We're going to keep this hand. Did I mulligan last game too? I feel like I might have. Like a color thing. But I could be misremembering. But that probably didn't help if I did have the mulligan. I could have saved this to try and combine with all these effects, but I'm I've got very few things to do for cheap mana. Sure.
Though it is good with Case of the Gateway Express. Think about which morph I should have played, which disguiser. Maybe I should have played the crowd control warden. I'm pretty interested in blocking. Sure. I think I'm just going to play this and then case this. Also, last game, if I had blocked their um, other creature, I think I would have won. Because <laughs> their other creature was like the fourth, the 3 2 flyer. Or I guess, yeah, it would have been a 3 2 at the time. So if I had double blocked that guy, they would have flipped up their crowd control warden. So it was like kind of interesting on which one's better to flip up. Like, which one if I blocked the other one, I could have won. Which is kind of funny. So, and then the next turn, if I draw a land, I can play Bother. Followed by On the Job. Great, 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 great. <sighs> Three one one flyers are unironically incredible here. They're going to help me flip this. <laughs> Pretty good opponent. Pretty good. Two can play at that game, though. If I draw a land and play this, then I can make one of them a two, too. Out of shock range, that's good. Sure. I can flip it and give it plus two plus O. Oh. Sure. Still hoping for a land. Yep, there we go. I'm in great shape now.
I think I killed him next turn. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sure. Now that I can't make my big attack, I'll just do this for now. Get rid of the biggest mana value things. We got him next turn, I think. So they go block here, flip about, flip the bounce, morph guy, and they still die. I'm still hitting them for eight, so I don't want to be the first to blink. Wow, it literally is that. That's funny. That's how you do it. Wow. That would have been so brutal if I'd lost to that, being like the only disguise that gets him out of it, potentially. Nice. Welcome to another round. We'll keep this. Good work, escape tunnel. We're still going to use the escape tunnel turn one. We could draw our dog walker or something. Not the greatest value play here, but... I should have just blocked this guy. I thought they had that. I was planning on playing this anyway, but... Losing this is kind of sad. So they have a Granite Witness of their own, or a Sanguine. Savior.
of blocks. I don't think I can draw much here. That does not go well for me. No! Oh my gosh. Yeah, got me. I hate my opponent so much. Their their emotes have turned me against them for all time. Who says oops before they flip up their devastating disguiser? My gosh. Welcome to another round. We're going to keep this. I feel, don't feel a ton of agency in a lot of these games, because it's literally just like me blocking, getting owned by combat tricks, thinking, oh yeah, I couldn't have really ever played around that, and then moving on to the next game. Like, I have some decisions like, oh, I could have decided not to shock that guy, but like, overall it feels like the games I lose are just my opponent just has like the combat trick every turn that they need it, and I just die. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure there's things I can do differently to some degree. Like in the first game, I if I just block their other Disguiser, which I have no real way to know, it, it works out so much better for me. I'm just going to do this and discard my Hellion. I'm just going to try to just overwhelm them with the Fuss Bothers. Just cast a couple Bothers, win the game that way. Well, this game's over. I just, if I can't kill that, which I have a few of the torches that I could draw. I already used my shock. Um, yeah, I might as well deny them one clue. If I draw a torch, I'm still fine. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting decimated here. Okay, I'll ditch the mountain and hope to draw another land here. Sometimes you gotta get greedy. They're stuck on three lands, so I could maybe come back here. I just need to find a torch. Torch can kill this Wojek investigator. Now I just need to draw a land. Oh my gosh, this card is owning me. Bother into bother. Ooh, there's a torch, too. I can quad block the Wojek investigator.
I might be like two life points lower than I need to be to win this game. Like, I don't think I can beat them having plus two plus one for their whole team. I really hope they try to block this guy, though. It's probably pretty good for me if they do. Okay, sure. I don't think this card's that good. I miscounted. That's a great draw. Ugh. They have assembled the players, but I'm eventually going to assemble this other combo of mine. This is pretty good. Now I have a bunch of 3-2 flyers. And a 4-3. And a 4-4. This is a bulky novice inspector. This is the guy that's been on the force for a while. And he's like trying to like... He doesn't like move up in the command chain. But he's uh doing his good work. I don't have double black yet. I can play this guy face up, which is why I'm waiting. I could have played it face down and then had a good combat trick, but this guy's gonna, also, guy's gonna be huge. Hmm. I'm just trying to see, consider if I can empty my hand for this. And if I draw a land next turn, I can. Okay, I can do it anyway. Yeah. Four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is so risky if they have the two mana exile. That's lethal. I'm just going to go for it. Got there. Woohoo! We did it! Let's go! A win for the good guys. Welcome to another round. We'll keep it. A very sedate hand. Rubble Belt Maverick. I could just kill this, but it just doesn't seem good. They're going to get value out of it if I kill it. Oh, blue green. Maybe a slower matchup. Having a guaranteed land drop is pretty good.
Sometimes I randomize which disguise creature I play because I don't want them to like have a pattern they can latch on to. Like, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I think these ones are fairly interchangeable here. Okay, just gonna play it nice and slow. I'm not really worried about getting pressured out by blue-green. Sure. This two mana up is worrying to me. It makes me think of a counter spell. It's just very suspicious the way they've done this. Like, why would they play this instead of... Like, they could have deduce. Okay, that also kind of makes sense. But I'm just going to crack this, sack my clue, and then just play bother next turn. Which makes all my other cards better. They're just playing straight blue-green. Sure. That could be good. I can double block Pompous Gat about. Oh, do they actually have the counter spell that I just didn't play around this turn for no reason again? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Clever. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. They had the counter spell. I literally played around it last turn. And they held up the same mana. Oh, well. Criminy. I almost double blocked it, too. But, like, I figured they would, they could have plus three, plus three, and I get absolutely owned. Okay. Submit zero, because I just want to trade with the Gadabout. They should have attacked with Gadabout last turn. It was unblockable. Sure. 
This is where my case of the Crimson Pulse is going to carry me. Oh my gosh. Um... Okay. Survival mode engaged. We're drawing three cards a turn. Okay. Tap the eavesdropper because it's easier to block in the future. I'll double block this guy. Okay, I'm definitely trading everything here. I don't really care about the gad about. Might as well do this, though. That's fair. Because this thing can block the eavesdropper next turn. And it can still have a potential block on this guy. Chipping in for three is no joke. Not on my watch was a good card to draw there. Yep. Gosh, them hitting a clue maker was pretty bad for me there.
Okay. Oh, Kadok. I could lose this. Especially because I gave them a slightly faster clock now. They're out of steam. There we go. So I need six, and then I can do one plus three. Yep. I think I need to keep this in increments of three, so I can only get rid of one of these cards, I think. Actually, I'll keep both, because I have this clue I can sacrifice, so I might as well keep one of them. Maybe I need to be more aggressive with this. I'm kind of worried about killing them. Okay. Nice. This will flip now. Wow, they have a pretty cool deck. If only they had something to splash with all their gardeners. Okay, I think I mathed this out. Okay, get rid of that guy because he's huge. And get rid of this guy because he's got haste. Just in case they did have some sort of way to get him back. Yeah! Oh, that was satisfying. Nice win. Oh, we got there. Oof. See you folks next round. Welcome to another round. This is probably the hand that defeats me. But you can't really mulligan hands to have both your colors in, in limited. And like, if it's between, if it's three or four lands in both your colors, you've built your deck wrong if you have to mulligan, which I kind of have. My deck does not have enough cheap plays to kind of support it. On the draw, this is just like, I'm just going to take so much damage. Like, any two-drop. It doesn't even need to be a good one like this guy. That could help. Just gonna do this now. Buy myself some time. Sure.
sure. That's fine. This can be a chump blocker later, or you can just do something. You can make something of yourself, novice inspector. So now I really just need one more removal spell that can kill this 4-4 and I'm back in business. I'm priced into blocking here. Going to 3 is just too risky. Nice. Oh, I have a lot of cards that can get me out of this now because I know I get to block. Oh, ho, ho, yes. It's going for an aggressive line here, but making this a 3-4 can be relevant. I kind of want them to attack. And now I'm just winning, I think. Maybe not winning, because they have that. Ooh, now I'm winning. Okay. They're just dead next turn. These all get plus two, plus one, and plus one, plus one, plus one counters. That's not going to be good enough. What a game. Fuss bother's insane. I think I passed this in one of my drafts and said, oh, this card's medium. I didn't realize quite how absurd the bother part of this card was. Way more than enough damage. They needed to block this thing, which was unlikely for them to do, because it was like, oh, I'll take six. <laughs> Woo! Nice win! Ah, oh, fuss bother. Oh, bother. Nice. Five wins. Nice. Welcome to another hand. I'm so tempted to keep this. One land that I can play this. But I just need red mana too badly. We'll keep this one. This card's good when you mulligan. I'm just going to get rid of the tracker. So I can actually play the tracker. Yeah, that's that's absurd. This card's going. Yeah, that was almost an absurd mulligan decision there. Getting rid of a four drop for a six drop. Yikes. Oh, this could go very badly for me. Yeah, I can kill that. No harm, no foul. I won't get the card out of the torch, but that's okay. Part of the strength of the card is that you can kill their two drop with it. Hopefully stymie them a little bit. Do you feel stymied, opponent? Oh, they're missing land drops. Oh, this is huge. We're back in business. We're cooking. Sure. Definitely blocking. Now I'm going to start digging for lands. Uh, I'm going to touch this thing. Huge. It's not the land I wanted, but I just want to keep my mana advantage over them. Okay, they hit a land. Everyone's playing inside source these days. I just need to hit land so this thing can go off.
sure. Come on, Lando. There we go. Inspector holds back these one ones and the one two. Their three drops have netted them a couple of extra one ones. Land, please. Perfect. I'm getting close to flipping this. I need one land next turn and I can play the tracker and flip this guy and be golden. Or just draw one of my few two drops. <laughs> I'm running a little bit light on removal. I only have one torch left, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, dog walker down. Sadly. Sure. That was a good draw. Just gonna keep trying to hit land drops. Okay. This card should carry me if I can just get it flipped next turn. Pretty horrific draw there, honestly. I have, like, so many cards that just let me flip this immediately. Land, spells... <sighs> sure. Just gonna try to preserve my life total. So I'll draw this next turn. Getting rid of an attacker would be so nice, but I don't think it's worth it here. Just want to guarantee flip my card. Sure. Oh, I messed this up. I have to cast this on my turn for it to work. Okay, now I'm going to start drawing three cards. I could have just tried to flip this guy. But I can do that next turn. Dang it.
Okay, let's see what they do with this surveil. This is a key turn for me. I need to draw some stuff. Land shock would be best for me. That's a really good draw. Because this can flip for six. Okay. Push pull can do some serious damage here. Ooh, and I can even sacrifice it at the end. I think that means I want this guy. That means I want Gearbane. And this guy. Might as well do a little bit of extra damage. Tax their graveyard a bit. Because I just wanted to flip my thing so I have two ones. I'm not sure I did that right. I probably could have done more damage. Like, I could have gotten slightly bigger cards. Okay. Am I going to lose? I guess I have two more turns if I don't crack this clue. I think I can win in two turns. I think they're definitely on the decking plan. They're dead exactly. Yes! Oh my gosh, another win. This deck looks very unassuming on the surface. And yet six wins. Here we go. We're into the finals. I'll see you folks there. Welcome to another round. We're going to keep this. Going to get a planes with this so we can definitely cast Bother. Change of plan. We're going to get a mountain because we can already definitely cast Bother. A green deck. Okay. Not on my watch. Could be good here.
So their most intimidating play was a automaton. So if they attack, I'm gonna get a, get their tunnel tipster out of here. Sure. So I'm just gonna try to trade with this guy, play this guy, try to trade with him. Ooh, red mana. This is why this card's worse than normal removal, because I can't just I couldn't have fired it off that turn. If it was like a shock or something, I could have killed something been a little bit in better shape. Sure. We're not taking huge damage, we're in fine shape here. Sure. That was not a super scary turn from them. We get to go Vigilante into Bother. And then we'll be able to hold up not on my watch. Easy block here. Sure. Maybe throws off their curve a little bit. Okay. Okay. Bother is going to be so good here. It just trades with their entire board. Sure. Automaton is not known for being great against Bother. Please don't. Please don't play plus two plus out. Galvanize. Ugh. This is so unfortunate. I'm just getting leveraged here. Why didn't they attack with Tipster? Oh, there's another Tipster. They're out of gas, though. Honestly, this card's pretty good here. I just don't think I want it. I want to dig towards something better. It's a top deck battle, and I have way better cards to draw than that. I just need them to blank this turn. If they draw a land this turn, I'm in really good shape. I go block, 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 take two. Then I play this guy on an empty board. I can triple block that. If they drew a combat trick, they would have attacked with everything. Unless they're trying to pull some crazy bluff here. Or they drew a shock. Perfect. Oh my gosh. We're just devastating them here. They keep it on top, though. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully it's a combat trick and not on my watch carries me. Also, I did draw land this turn, keep in mind. I could have drawn a Shady Informant. Uh-oh.
this could go badly. Okay. Those tunnel tipsters are now problematic. Okay. Gardener was good for them. Oh, especially if they have a splash. Yikes. I want to keep this guy as like a temporary removal spell. That's huge. This is for the championship, remember, so... There's a lot on the line here for me! Yes! Oh my gosh! From 2-2 two two to 7-2! Oh my gosh, what a performance. This deck did not look like all that much. We have one two drop for goodness sakes. Let's go. Turns out that tight play and drawing the right card in the right moment goes a long way. Oh my gosh, what a satisfying trophy. That one felt pretty good. <laughs> Remember earlier on in this draft when I was like, you know, I was I wasn't I wasn't trying to be pessimistic, but I had just lost a game and I was like, yeah, it's just like I block and then I lose because <laughs> they have the tricks, but they didn't always have the tricks. My gosh. What a crazily weird deck. I mean, Fuss Bother was the MVP. Bother specifically was just unbelievable when I was casting it. Um, three copies of Torch the Witness was really good for grinding through the mid-game. Case of the Crimson Pulse definitely won me some games. It was my only rare, but definitely an excellent one. And then I think everything else is like it's just commons and uncommons. Yeah, just felt really good. The Torch the Witnesses were great. The Fuss Bothers were fantastic. I mean, we had that massive pull that just like did so much damage that one game to win it for us. All of our morph creatures were relevant, it felt like. Except this one. This one never flipped. Uh, but that was kind of just funny. Um, yeah, really fun draft. I uh, had a lot of fun with it. I only had a couple of early plays, but we were able to get through using our removal spells and our wits. And uh, that one was a lot of fun. If you didn't make it all the way till the end of the video, in the comment section down below, leave hashtag... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Hashtag bother win, because... Bother was the key card, and it did lead us to a lot of wins. But that's not the best hashtag. But, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great card. That is going to do it for this video, though. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe learned something. Maybe had some fun. And, uh, yeah, I hope you uh, had a good time, and I'll talk to you next time.